His name is Slade Wilson. And unless we stop him, he's gonna kill Oliver and his entire family. Not yet, kid. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie, and this week on Arrow, Slade Wilson returned to fulfill a promise he made to Oliver, but it's really just the beginning. This is actually the first episode in a line of the next four episodes that comprises a villain's arc. It's also the beginning of Season 2's Endgame, meaning every episode until the finale will take this Oliver vs. Slade storyline to new levels. Next week is a break, so there won't be an episode, but I will be doing a predictions video. Be sure to subscribe to get it if you're finding me for the first time. Since there were so many WTF moments in the episode, let's do our top five, and then I'll do some of my favorite quotes, and then my review. I've also got some details about Grant Gustin's cameo that's coming later this season. So careful for spoilers if you haven't seen the episode yet, but here we go. Number five, Businessman Slade meets Oliver's family. The main conceit here is that Slade was planting bugs all over Oliver's house, but I loved listening to Businessman Slade talking to Moira as if he were just a totally normal person. A totally normal person running on Mirakuru and leading a small army of supervillains to destroy her family. More to his campaign contribution though, I think he's going to embed himself in Queen Industries via Summer Glau, who is still part of the story. Even though he lied about not having a daughter, I think she's working with him. She may not know who he really is though. To be clear about his children, Ravager and Jericho, Oliver mentioned Jericho in a previous episode, so either Slade just thinks they're dead or they're emotionally dead to him, so he could have just been making a metaphor. Number four, Team Arrow rolls into battle. There were a lot of other teasers in the rollout montage, like Roy with a bow, but when the party, so to speak, started, it was like being ringside at a Muhammad Ali fight. That's why my favorite lines of dialogue from the episode came right then. Oliver's, what would you like to do now, Mr. Wilson? And Slade's reply, I hate to break up the party. The big reveal from that though was finding out what the actual promise was and Slade's ally that took Diggle out. Number three, all hell breaks loose on the freighter. I'm considering a lot of the boat scenes to be part of this. Starting the moment, Slade learns Oliver was responsible for Shadow's death. They rebuilt the whole deck of the boat to shoot the action scene and it looked glorious. Just a hail of bullets and people jumping overboard. My favorite stunt hands down was Slade reaching over and grabbing Oliver mid-air as he was jumping over the side and just yanking him back on. I know a little bit about how stunts are done, so I knew they were using wires, but it still looks so amazing. And it only got crazier when Slade took control of the boat. Number two, Oliver and Slade put on the hood and the mask for the first time. This is like the birth of their personas, the Arrow and Deathstroke. If you remember the Australian rum they drank, they actually toasted again before the fight, just like they did at the Queen's house. In retrospect, both times seemed like they were toasting their impending doom. There were some funny moments that followed, like, Oliver missing that Lord of the Rings signal fire shot, but really the best one was Slade calling him a brother. I think that Oliver is going to try really hard to redeem Slade by the end of the season, even though they're totally going to spend the next four episodes trying to kill each other. And my number one moment, Slade without his eye patch, watching Oliver's mansion. The first thing that really grabs you is his eyeless socket. It's just haunting. I think it's meant to visually show the hole he has inside his soul right now, like punishing Oliver will replace what he's lost you know, both Shadow and the Eye. That to me was bigger than Slade just peeping on the Queens. That really just implies that he's going to use the surveillance to catch them with their pants down, so to speak. Here are a couple of my favorite bonus moments though. There were a bunch. Roy and Slade's handshake of the century. Oliver's murder dream of Shadow. Oliver's training montage on the island, you know, just running while shooting and doing something that looked very similar to Salmon Ladders. And I already said a few of my favorite quotes, but here are a few more. Lucky for me, before all this, I had a lot of practice. Slade calling Sarah Blondie. I'm fortunate to have your entire family here. I have allies too. My favorite quote hands down though was Felicity's looks like Oliver butt dialed us. She didn't have much of a presence in the episode, but they did give her one of the best quotes. My other favorite was Slade's promise though. You cannot die until you have known complete despair as I have. Overall, I give the episode a solid A, but it's really just the appetizer to the main course that is the next four episodes. That's what Arrow has done so well this season, is build the stories in such a way that they all kind of inform these final episodes, this final arc. We should all go back and rewatch season one and two right now, because think of how the context of those stories change now that we know what's really been going on since Oliver came back. Slade has been planning this revenge the whole time. The episode itself really did feel like a sequel to season one's The Odyssey. Remember, that episode set up Shadow's storyline and mirrored a lot of moments with Yao and Billy Wintergreen. High fives to the production team though. Seriously, they rebuilt the entire deck for a major action scene and it just looked amazing. 
Mark Guggenheim was behind it, and he also had a big teaser this morning about episode 20. He was waiting for a special announcement to reveal what's happening, but it's basically Grant Gustin coming back to guest star as The Flash. I'm predicting that he'll come out of his coma, but he might not have the red suit yet. He will have his superpowers though. I am thinking he will be key to defeating Slade, otherwise why would they bring him back? We only know the titles of episodes up to 18, and there are going to be 23 total this season, so there's still so much that is left to happen. I cannot wait to see it. It is so much fun. Be sure to subscribe to get all my Arrow and Flash stuff. I'll be doing another Flash bonus video this week, and I'll be doing a Q&A video, so feel free to ask me any question you want about the episode or the rest of the season. Right now, click here to learn all about Arrow Season 3, and click here to get that Q&A video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tonight. High fives.